I'm the king of the world! Woo! I don't know, I'm just like really confused right now because I used to like photos, now I like videos and like hashtags that are useful but like not useful. And now we're owned by Facebook, so it's like we're in this meta thing. Watch this video! Watch that video! Watch this video! Oh, you watched that video for 0.25 seconds? I'm gonna show you 10 more just like it! So, how do you know which social media platform to focus on? Honestly, there isn't one perfect answer, but I highly, highly suggest that you hyper-focus on one platform, grow that, and from there you can give your other social media platforms a shout-out, therefore cross-pollinating your audience and giving you a bigger reach. But now, let's list some factors to take into consideration. Factor number one, find your target audience. Find their age, demographics, preferences, and what social media platform you'll think they'll use, you know, after doing a bit of research on that. But, imagine you're a roofing company and you're trying to get more clients in. Are you gonna focus more on Facebook or TikTok? So here are just some facts. Facebook, 53% of the users are over the age of 35. And for TikTok, over 60% of the users are under 24. Who's more likely to purchase your roofing service? Someone that's, you know, 18, you know, barely getting out of high school, going to college, or someone that's 35, 40, you know, they probably own a house. Factor numero dos, how much time do you have on your hands? So, for example, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, all usually take some time to you know get an audience and get traction whereas TikTok and more recently Instagram after adding reels any video could blow up you know if you use the right hashtag if you use the right audio it just you know it's not very consistent but just as a heads up any video can go viral at any moment also what kind of content would you like to focus on would you like to focus on long form content short term short term <laughs> i have short term memory short form content or both so for example youtube and facebook you can you know upload a 20 minute video and you can really dive deep into your product and service but the downside about that is you know those videos take a lot of planning and a lot of editing and now let's move on to short term short form content <laughs> Oh my gosh, like TikTok and Instagram. So the benefit of that is they're relatively easy to film and it takes you know little to no time. But the downside is it's gonna take a lot more to convert someone into purchasing your product or service. And you know, unless the video is really really good and it convinces someone to buy an expensive product in seven seconds then you did a really good job on your video and lastly factor number three knowledge knowledge what are you better at are you better at writing focus on twitter and facebook are you better at photography focus on pinterest and instagram and then are you better at videos focus on reels and tiktok videos and youtube but I just have to say focus on you know your strengths and weaknesses and how you can improve them but if you really really don't know where to start you know you like you're not about it you're not about taking time out of your day for your social media brand rep offers social media posting so we offer posting for Facebook Instagram TikTok, LinkedIn Twitter and then if you also want to run ads on those social media platforms we can do that for you as well so that's gonna cut it for today's video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, you know, or comments, anything you guys would like to add on to this video, please comment down below as we would love to read them and reply to them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.